What's going on guys? Welcome to another stipulation draft here on the YouTube's internet sensation Hatnick. That's me. We Hat have Nick. we have a stipulation draft going on today. It is by Starfall19790. He says, I don't have time for the stream, so keep up the YouTubes. I catch you every day. Stipulation is green, black, X, planeswalkers, prioritize pernicious deed, and Nevin rolls disc after power. So it's basically a green, black rock deck with a bunch of planeswalkers. I like planeswalkers, so, and I like rocks. And I like discs. I like discs. Discs are kind of like flat rocks. So we're taking Bayou. We're taking Grave Titan. Taking, taking, uh, taking Channel. <laughs> huh. A lot of good picks in this pack. Bayou, Grave Titan, and Channel are the three that stand out to me. So, Grave Titan is very good in a Planeswalker-style deck. Um, Channel, probably pretty good. Grave Titan also good because you can activate Pernicious Deed and kill most things and, then, uh, and keep the Grave Titan alive. Yeah. And then he just makes a small army and everyone's sad. Can I do a step on a loan? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's Channel just because of power level. Yeah, it probably the, is. The problem is you like unfortunately you can't cast many planeswalkers with channel. Right. Like we can like we're we're cycling two green for like however many colorless we need. It's still a busted card though, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then like we could be a planeswalker deck that also like plays a turn two worm coil engine, and that's not terrible. Or Emrakul. What do or, you take over time what? walk? <laughs> We're green, black, planeswalkers, Frank. We gotta just right, but, but power. What did, what did what did someone pass? Well, or... they also said prioritize British deed and never just after power. Okay, yeah. We could take this and just splash for this, but we did get a channel, so Emrakul goes yeah. real well. I <sighs> like there had to be black lotus mocks or soul ring. Yeah, in the there pack. had to be like other power that was like more potent. But, if we like... take Emrakul, like someone gets a third pick time walk, which is just hilarious. Yeah, I kind of want. Just take Emrakul, because let's just live that life. Oh, I like a Verdant Catacombs. That's good. It's. It, I, would, I would take Natural Order if Emrakul was green. Yeah, I would I would too. Yeah, let's take Verdant Catacombs. Yeah. Alright. I was like, oh, is this... A, nope, wait. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Maybe the Bayou comes back? Findhorn Elves? It's either Findhorn Elves or, like, Gearhole. We can take the Progenitus if the Natural Order comes back. <laughs> This is the worst Planeswalker deck ever. Well, we haven't seen any Planeswalkers. We haven't passed any yeah. Planeswalkers. This yeah. does tend to happen sometimes. Yeah. Batterskull also being a card that we can cast off of channel on, like, turn two. Yeah, and we can equip Batterskull to Emrakul and hit them for 19. That's fair. <laughs> cast a Progenitus with your, with your channel. And I like that you said Kappa instead of actually... Progenitus is power. Proge power genitus. Yeah, dude, he's got protection from everything. That's basically power. Is it this, 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 or this? Those are the questions. I don't think it's this. If we get natural order back, we'll probably just get this back too. I I kind of want to just take Fendor now. Same. I agree with you. Nothing uh, yet. Uh, Rish, I like Rishkar, but only because. But the thing I don't like about Rishkar is that most of the creatures you're putting a counter on that cost two or less in green already make mana. Yeah, I think it's Green Sun. Uh, Green Sun Zenith, or, like, I mean, we could just take the go for the throat to... I think you can get more of this yeah. effect, whereas you rarely get... Like, this is just yeah. a very unique... Yeah, no. Like, I, I agree with you. I... And you get turn two... Even turn two Fanhorn Elf is still fine. Yeah. Nailed it. Dude, green. Planeswalker. Nailed it. We can draw 15 cards if we have a cool. I like it. Ooh. Wall Roots. Chupacabra, also very good. Also, Chorus of Portal is very good, too, and it's a... It's a card we could easily play off of a channel, as just like if, if it's one of the like two cards in our hand. This pack's also pretty tricky. I like Tassiger, I like Wall of Roots, I like Chupacabra, and I like Course of Portal. Yeah. I think Portal's probably the strongest. Tassiger's kind of like a Planeswalker. <laughs> I mean, so is Course of Portal in the sense of like you're... It, it, like, both of these are drawing you an extra card every yeah. turn. Let's take the Portal. We got channel, so like I if, agree. We, if we can get that out early, then we're we're in good shape. These guys are kind of like Planeswalkers. Yeah, Gonti is like a Planeswalker that lets you play cards from your opponent's deck, and that guy is I don't know what that guy actually does. Really? Yeah, I like I don't six, know. Six six for six, flying trample. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. Then you put that card into your hand. If the card's converted mana cost is four or greater, you repeat it. So if you hit this, you just get to do it again. If you hit cool. this, you get. To, it's basically like draw cards until you draw a card, non-land card that costs three or less. Right. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think Bells and Locks actually really good. Hey, he came back to us. 
Let's take them. Yeah, that seems really good. Um, Scrubland. Scrubland or Gear Hulk? Scrubland, right? Yeah, I think Scrubland. Like, we have a fetch land that can grab it, and if we get like a oh, and it is, the deck is actually black green X, so yeah. we don't actually have to be just black green. I keep forgetting the X part. I want to be true to the stipulation, but it is X, so. Yeah. Yeah, time walked in wheel. Five other people were like, no, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> they probably hate drafted it. I get it. Yeah, Beast Within. It's a good card. It's a it's a green vindicate. Yeah. It's totally it's totally fine. Totally serviceable. Yeah, I like it. X is gonna give it to you. First you're gonna rock. Did we do synchronized water drinking? Is that a thing that happened? Did it really? That was amazing. I didn't even plan that. I didn't either. I didn't even notice you do it. I didn't notice you do it either. Are we just one person? But Multiple people in, said it, so I feel yeah, like... Yeah, like, we're one person, but we're living on two different planes of existence. What plane are you on? Uh, you know, Ravnica. Uh, Shotgun Ravnica. Uh, uh, I don't know, like a B-52. Uh, confirmed worst plane. Get wrecked. Hey, Just got my haircut ready for the new draft. Hey, haircut. Haircut bros. Looks like we made it to get our haircuts. We made it. Explain to me why, and you're going to have a ridiculous answer. All right, let me hear it. Uh, explain to me why Green Sun Zenith comes before Emrakul in the casting cost sort. Uh, so, all right. We got 15 mana costs. That's clearly 15, right? Clearly. I'm looking at this. I see X and the green. You know what X is? It's a, it's Roman numeral for 10. It's actually not as ridiculous as I thought it was going to be. That's actually like a real... I wonder if Magic Online does see X's as 10s. <laughs> hey, it is. I got know? real excited and then I realized <laughs> we, don't have we didn't get the natural or someone lives in this pack and someone already took it. So If we get Tooth and Nail, though... Do we want the... Uh, never mind. <laughs> oh, 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 oh dang like prime mage is an actual sideboard card yeah us. but I, I i don't know you're right you're right progenitus is an actual strategy for us is hat mike jealous of your haircut mostly because he rocks the hat gallagher style and he doesn't actually have any hair nick actually has really long hair yeah look at all this hair i got nick has got a be beautiful flowing locks god he's gore he's gorgeous just gorgeous the body didn't come back either which is actually pretty sad I just want to get an overgrown tomb, that's all. Frank, when you go get your haircut, do your haircut ladies fall? <laughs> no. Oh, Ooh. this is what I mean. Like, cards like this always come back. What's in here? Oh, overgrown tomb. That's kind of like a bayou. This guy's kind of like a planeswalker. Planes <laughs> Crying out loud. I don't think we can pass the overgrown. Honestly, Leovold might come back because the color restrictions are very, very high. Yeah. I want the overgrown to get with the, the Verdant Catacombs. Yes. And we already passed bayou, so we're not going to see another one. Wow, spoiler warning before the unmasking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry boy. Leovold or Hierarch? I want to take the land, Matthew Ori. The land. Sometimes Matthew Ori doesn't know how lands work, so he, he tries to cast his spells with other creatures. Listen, man, sometimes you can cast spells with creatures. You can. No, you can't. I just made that up. What if uh, the spell you're casting has Convoke? This became an unhatting stream. <laughs> Oh, look, other Emmy. Oh, dude, we can have Dubs Emrakuls. We actually could. We could have both of them That's on the dude, board. But we got a green black planeswalker right here. It's true. There are no other planeswalkers that we've missed, right? This is the only no. planeswalker yeah, we opened? Yeah, that's the only planeswalker we've seen. Okay, okay. So, like, I feel like we have to take the Threat Shaman, because it's basically a planeswalker. I also don't think there's any better cards. Yeah. And there's an, I think there's enough fetch lands to make this guy reasonable. <laughs> Hi, Chandra. Hey, look, it's a... Uh, it's a That's it's a black like a it's like a black planeswalker. <laughs> Crying out loud. We can take Savannah. Yeah, I was gonna say let's take Savannah. I think Manglehorn's might be better though. Manglehorn's real strong in this it cube. It is very, very strong. I'm gonna take the Manglehorn. Alright. It just kills every, every no you never play against someone who doesn't have a Manglehorn target. Yeah. And a turn two Manglehorn, dude. They might as well throw their whole deck in the garbage can. Oh, all oh my robots. Oh, my little, my little, bag, my beautiful banana rocks got ruined in my, this my is, garbage can. This mean old horn tusk beast made my robots come into play sideways. <laughs> Boy, if you keep playing like that, you're going to make your robots. Hey, we got, oh, we got a lot of green, black stuff. We got planeswalkers in this pack. Primeval Titan is the, like, literal top tier green card that I hate passing. Yeah. But this is, this card has been overperforming. It's, it, it's insane. 
It's really good. And it's a Planeswalker. Ideally, one of these two come back. How many? I'll even take this Ashiok if it comes back. And then we'll hope to get some blue action. I don't think Spazio knows how the stipulation works. Nah, it's cool. What's cool? Primetime is basically like a, like a Titan. Oh! 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 oh. Really? I like this, but I like Sylvan Carry it a lot better. Yeah. But we're, we're real low on our Planeswalker count. It's true, but we're real low on our mana gentlemen. We have two mana gentlemen. This is only... We have, a, this we is, have one and a quarter mana This is, gentlemen. yeah, this is like a mana gentleman halfway. He's like, he's like a very mana gentleman person. Like, he dresses nice, he presents himself well. But the second he talks, he starts, like, swearing like a sailor. <laughs> You're no mana gentleman. Someone carry out it is a Planeswalker. I just don't like Lily here. Especially because we have five drops, six drops, six drops, six drops. Yeah, we let's... really want to prioritize it. I don't think. Oh, perfect. <gasps> oh, it's got to be Fraley's yeah. though. Fraley's is also very good. Yeah. Oh, that's a late Rafelos though. Ideally, we're not going to have that many forests, so we don't actually have to feel too bad. But I'm glad we got a, a Fraley's afterwards. We already have what? We now we have one, two, three. We have three and a half planeswalkers. Yeah, because uh, he's half mana, mana gentleman, and half planeswalker. <laughs> Half man, a gentleman. Half planeswalker. Oh, dude, there's a planeswalker. Yeah, deal. <laughs> I think it's. I would have been so happy. <laughs> Actually, Marari's wake has been utterly insane for me. Yeah, there was that game I saw. Oh yeah, it's just busted, like, and it just lets you cast Emrakul like for free. Yeah, but like, we got channeled to do that. Right, but I'm saying having another. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Yeah, but having another way to do that's real strong. Plus, we have Scrubland and Verdant Catacomb. I think we, synchro we synchronized our drinks again. Synchronize those drinks. Are we drink, man? It has been so good in the cube. To end. Oh, dude, secret mode. <laughs> secret mode? Primal Command. The whole card is oh. secret modes. <laughs> I think it's actually Kozilek here because we have both Mirari's Wake and... Yeah, we have... It's another channel target. We have two ways to ramp into our big, dumb Eldrazi mans. So we need two big, dumb Eldrazi mans. I agree with you. <laughs> One El one big dumb Eldrazi man for each. Oh, oh, oh. it doesn't. Uh oh. Look at that. Right, Ten. I need, I need a new theory. And eleven. I need a new theory. Amazing. All right. It's funny because these are still both behind the green sun zenith. Do you think because they're like, hey, look at that man's. I think it's actually this one though. Yeah, I think so too. That makes me so sad. Oh, we have no way to get blue. So. Yeah. Oh, oh I almost picked it. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we have no way to get blue. I think it's I think it's I think it's Noble Hierarch grabs Leovold, puts it in the bag. God, that the oh god. Uh, uh yeah, Brask attempts fine. I'm really sad the Savannah didn't come back, but I mean we knew that was happening. Maybe MTGO is just coded badly. So here's here's my Maybe. my kind of guess on this. So because they're colorless cards that are like they were put into the game after Moto was already bad um <laughs> already yeah yeah i gotcha and they're also like so high costed that it's just like yeah go to the end go to like the very end you guys are so big there's nothing bigger than you so one thing i've noticed about this cube is that it's very hard to prioritize pernicious deed and never knows this just because um the mana decks are so reliant on the mana like the the, the planeswalker decks right so reliant on mana guys. right and you don't and have things like the, um, all the way you don't have things like far seek or um, you know, search for tomorrow, stuff like that. You don't have many of those to make sure you're pernicious dealing with just lands. Most of the time, you're pernicious dealing with a bunch of mana guys, and then they then they'll die. Yeah. And we can actually play any of these three. I don't. We got two uh, seconds. I think it's probably Elspeth. Yeah, just take Elspeth. If we get like better fixing, then we're fine. Moat. <laughs> um, we don't have very many good win conditions. We have a flying Emrakul. I think it... this card's just better. Yeah. Turn two. This guy is real good. Yeah, whatever. I'll take this idiot. We have a flying Emrakul. Wow, that's actually playable. Of course, we have already 25 cards in our deck, so... Not right, what sure. What do we got here? Uh, Tropical Island. That's... Ooh, there's a Mana Um, Godless Shrine. It probably is Godless Shrine. Yeah. I don't like it, but I will take it. I would, See, I don't even like Gilded Lotus here because it doesn't help us cast anything. The turn after you play Gilded Lotus, you could just cast these anyway. Right. And it doesn't really help tremendously with these guys. Yeah. Nope, I agree. Yeah, like, I think it's just Godless Shrine. Godless Shrine, yeah. Misty. Oracle. Oracle. That's good, too. Um, Do we want Chupacabra or Vraska's Contempt? I don't think we want both. Uh, 
we have a lot of creatures, so I think we're safe to cut the Chupacabra. Oh, Golgari Signet. Golgari. For all your goal tracking needs. So I'm going to pass Time Walk and Manager. Yeah, the same person is getting past those cards. They are living in a... In a yeah, they're like... Paradise. They're like, this dummy next to me is just passing me all this power. All this blue power. Glad he was doing a stipulation draft. I also like Vampiric Tutor, but... We can actually vamp for, like, channel. That's actually really tempting. Do you think the signet will come back to us? Probably not. No, but I don't think this will either. Yeah. Plus, we already have this, 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 and take this. The, take the tutor, man. Let's go big. I think tutor is way stronger. What card is time walk? It's the one where you draw three cards and take an extra turn and uh, walk to your time. Eureka! Eureka is usually a trap, but we have a lot of good permanents to put into play. Yeah. I'm real tempted to take the Eureka, but I also like Blooming Marsh here. I, one, two, three, four, six. I think we can actually take Blooming Marsh and maybe the Eureka comes back. Probably. I think it's Blooming Marsh here. I think it's safer. Plus, we already have 25 playables here. We can cut Go for the Throat. There's not a lot of... Cre <laughs> hey, we got one of each. <laughs> <laughs> Collect oh. them all. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Crying out loud, dude. Do you want to do you want to take Genesis Wave and like we'll uh, we'll try to hit Emrakul off of Genesis Wave? I'm gonna actually put Green Sun in the sideboard because we don't actually have a lot of green yeah, creatures that I, we want to hit. Thinking about that, I want to just take this to be quite honest yeah, with you. Yeah, let's do it. The more channel targets and oh, Pernicious Deed. Hey, there's Pernicious Deed. We have to take we it. We do have to take that actually. Yeah. Uh, Reclamation uh, Sage is very good. Yeah. Animate Dead could be good. It's, I mean, it's good with a lot of arc guys, too, so. What, Rex Sage or Anime Dead? Anime Dead, right? Anime Dead, yeah. Is like, it? we got Demon Lord, Dummy Dumb. Grave, Grave Titan. Titan. This guy can go to the graveyard. Yeah, and then, like, when he comes back, it's like, your whole library is exiled. What are you going to do about it, buddy? Cut the beast within for now. I'll cut the hippie. I don't think that guy's great here. I'll just take the Animate Dead. Yeah. Man, they're just, they're just begging us to play these. Oh, Land Werewolf. I just we just don't need it, right? Not anymore. No. I mean, I'll just take reanimate just in case we have some kind of shenanigans. Yeah, my elder is fine. Yeah, it might be better than Jade Light Ranger, but I'm not sure. I think it is. All right. This is 24, and animate dead's kind of like eh. I think this is the deck though. This deck looks sick. Yeah. Like having three of these means Star Channel is a lot. Also, the Eureka. This is a Eureka deck, 1,000 percent. And it's usually a trap. I don't know if we want double white Elspeth, though. Probably not. Was this, No, next pack's pack with Eureka, right? There's going to be four cards left in the pack, so I think it's two cards away. Okay. Two two packs away. It's probably just Plukronos. Another elf. Another elf. Heartbeat of Spring? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Heartbeat of spring. All right, one time. Come on. Oh my god, the suspense, dude. I'm so uncomfortable right now. This is the long... What? Why? <laughs> Why is this so long, dude? There's four cards in the pack, man. There can't be... They're like, do I just take the Eureka? I don't know. I'm going to replace the Elspeth with the Eureka if, if it's Eureka. Yeah. These are all cards I'm okay putting into- Yay! Yes! <laughs> Such sad. Wow, oh, Brupt Genesis to kick. Wave. <laughs> I think I want their Brupt yeah, to kill, want, right? We want that guy. Even this guy's good. I'm gonna actually take the Vraska's Contempt out, and we're just gonna play the, the Master instead. Yeah. Alright, 25. Get out, of, get out of here, Edric. Um... We only have four cards that actually die to deed here. I think this is actually a, an okay deed deck. We have to cut one thing, though. Is it Abrupt Decay? Um, what about Hero's Downfall? 
Over abrupt decay? Yeah. Yeah, all right, that's fine. And we're not playing Death Rite Shaman? Uh, I don't think so. We only have one fetch land. I don't want to rely on theirs. I'd rather just have any of these guys that guarantee mana. Cool. This deck looks great. Cut channel. One, two, three, four, five black. Six, seven, eight black. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's eighteen, eight, thirteen. That seems pretty good. Oh, we get one more. I don't know why they didn't add that. I'm just gonna add another green because I'd rather just have uh, these have guys the on turn one or yeah. channel on turn two. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm ready. This deck looks great, and our sideboard's fantastic. We have Beast Within, Heroes Downfall, Hypnotic Specter, Chupacabra, Vraska's Content. We have a ton of good. Go for the throat, animate dead. Matthew Warrior, three one sub. Thanks so much. Not only does this draft a resub, Hat Mike has upgraded to Hat Trick Mike. Good for you, buddy. Congrats on your upgrade. No, well, you don't need to do all that. Why not? Why don't you need to do it? Yeah. It's just not required. Is anything really required? Okay, we're vampire tutoring. Uh. The the the, the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this hand's actually not that good, though. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I want to mulligan this hand. Yeah. Because turn one vampire tutor does let us get like something like channel. But like. Then we can't play it until turn three anyway, and then we still don't have a guy to channel. So. Yeah. I think this is a lot better because now we can go turn one this, get the channel. And then, yeah. No, you can leave. Yeah, yeah. we can go turn one guy. And then we're going to cast Kozilek. Dude, this deck's sweet. We also don't lose to, like, the Brain Freeze deck. Also, if we draw, like, a black green land. Like, we're, we're in super good shape. Black green land. Frailies is good. Because then we can actually go upkeep this, play a another... I guess we only have one green. Oh, no. Yeah, no, it wouldn't work. We'd still we're, yeah. we'd still be imperfect. It doesn't matter. We're just going to draw the channel naturally because we're monsters. That would be such gas, dude. Eureka. Eureka. That's, that's kind of like a channel. So, we play you. Attack for two. Play you. Attack for two. So we just channel into Kozilek. We'll take 10, 11, 12. We'll go to... Ooh, that's rough. We go to 6. But we do draw 4 and we get a 12, 12 with Annihilator. I wish we can give it haste. Uh-oh. Dropped the thing. Oh, it was literally the knife. Don't drop the knife. Too light, I already did. What is that? That's a Manglehorn target. <laughs> Are we casting Manglehorn? Um, we're gonna cast Kozilek, that's for sure. Oh, he's got a guy's crit. Oh, god. This deck's cool. I don't think we care about any of this. We just go Manglehorn, Kozilek. So we're gonna go 1 2 for channel, and then we have 1 2, so we're gonna need, we need 11, yeah. 12, 13. So we're gonna go to 5. They don't have five on board, but we get a bunch of things out of it. Yeah, and we draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, we do draw four cards. So we can actually hit another land drop. We can also just get Eureka. Which doesn't hurt us, and I we get to kill I this. Don't like, I don't like grabbing Eureka. Oh, we don't get to cast it. I think that's the problem. Yeah. All right. Sure. Like, he's also... Like, he's got Garrick. He's got Mana Crypt. He's got an Elf. He's got Guy's Cradle. Like... What's in his hand that's going to kill us as well? My like. dad. All right, here we go. One. One. Oh, over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, uh, well. What? Oh, never mind. We can still do that. Yeah. Well, I want to see what we draw first because then we yeah. can actually play. Lands. Yeah. So I think we actually abrupt decay the beast because it makes their guy's cradle worse. Yeah. And we can still mangle horn. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Your turn. Actually, we probably should have upgrade, uh, killed the land war elf. That would have been better. Probably, but... I still think we're in good shape. They have five mana. And we get to Annihilate for four. And they have five permanents. Six permanents. So 
So Kozlek's a butcher, right? Yeah. He's the butcher of truth. Yeah, that's right. What uh, what part of the cow is uh, truth? <laughs> it's 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 the most honest part. Oh okay. Oh, I see. What are you survivaling for? My dad. I mean, we have we have Fraley, so ideally nothing. Hey, Frank. Yeah, man. This deck's real good. Yeah, man. I want to minimize the number of things they can actually... Uh... Yeah. Oh, and he gets exalted. <laughs> you know, YOLO. <laughs> That's an exalted cause. Like, so they have to sack four things. One, two, three, four. They get to keep three lands. That doesn't seem good. Not oh, yet. they actually keep their gentlemen. He's like, I want the dudes to kill you with. Well, you are welcome. Oh, they're just gonna block one. All right, so I think I think the game is over. At Hatnick, it's the horns. <laughs> That's... Oh, oh, we won the game. Hey, they put up a good fight though. I appreciate the effort they put into that. Yeah, I feel bad. Like our, our opponent had like a lot of good cards. They were doing cool things. Were they? I didn't see. I didn't really see that. I think. I mean, they played Gaia's Cradle. They played Garrick. Hmm. Played a mana crypt thing. A mana crypt thing? I think we just submit like this. I didn't see any problems with our deck, really. Also, I think it would have been safe to to Eureka there, but I don't think it would have been better. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a keepable hand. I think so, too. If we draw, like, what if we draw, like, Eldrazi, Eldrazi? Then we're like, hey, we still need one more land to cast Eureka. No, we don't. Not anymore. Eldrazi, 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 when you talk like that, you make a woman that's a little Shakira, but to this, to the tune of Eldrazi. All right, so we're abrupt to can that. Oh, uh, a thousand percent. Hi oh! I also don't want them to get creatures into their hand for the Eureka. So, you see him, that guy? The guy's real big. <laughs> Did you guys see this? Oh, also, we can actually put this into play with Eureka and then Garrick Primal on. Draw, draw a bunch of cards. I guess we'll just pass here. I like having Manglehorn for the Eureka in case they put something into play that's artifacty. Yeah. You know? Yeah, artifacty. Very artifacty. I hope they do something terrible. I hope they just do something so stupid. Here's my. Uh oh, he's doing something very good. I'm uncomfortable now. I do not enjoy. One, two, three. No. Is he, is he, is he doing? Is he doing what we did to him? Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't good. I don't like this at all. I think we just lost the game. She's not an artifact, right? Correct. Doesn't, doesn't get destroyed. Also indestructible. Hmm. Oh, that's, yeah, that's real bad. Okay, well, that's... And that's how it goes. Hey, um... Yes, sir. His deck's real good. Uh, I think our deck is also real good. Yeah. Wow, we were one turn away from the goods and stuff. What, a, what an amazing situation. I'm going to play. Hand's not terrible, but... It's it's a, it's the fairest hand we can get, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. Do you ship it? Like... These don't do anything. Yeah. Not that hands. I think we can do... I think we can, we can make... We can work with this. Yeah. Because we're just going to top deck channel. Are you ready for it? I am. I, I've... I'm ready. I want you to be ready for the channel. I'm ready for the channel. Do you believe in the channel? That's kind of like a channel. It's like... In the sense that it makes one mana. It's one-tenth of a channel. Yeah, I agree with you. It's one infinity... infinity of I mean, if we channel. can top take a Eureka, I'm okay with that as well. So now we have two two cards that I want to hit. That's not one of them. That was actually a land. Magic might not have known that because it's a confusing, confusing time for everyone, I think. Land's kind of like channel. Our deck is really good. I just want to... We also have Vampiric Tutor, but no black sources. So I guess that's worse. I don't know. Magic's hard. What are you going to do? He's got a Rafellos. Your mother's a Rafellos. He's got a Edric. Oh. He's going to attack us with this Lanowar Elf. I'm not going to block it. He's going to draw a card. I. You're going to... Mother's going to draw a card. Yeah, she's uh, an artist for, for Magic the Gathering. She will draw a card, yeah. Is this better than Fraley's? Maybe. 
If there's lands on top, yes. <laughs> if if not, there's not, no. no. <laughs> the problem is this Fraley's die. We tap everything, we play a Fraley's. She goes to five. We make a land war else. They're likely not blocking with this. Yeah. Or attacking with this. Well, I would easily trade here. I think Fraley's might be better. And then, like, I mean, if Fraley's doesn't die, then we have extra land war elves. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. I feel like we're playing fair games here, so that's that's something. Neither of us have our broken pieces. I mean, he's got a Rufellos. So that's kind of like a broken piece. Not with two forests, though. It's just a fragile soaring. I will definitely trade with this guy. Yeah, that's we're trading Lanoworld for a Lanoworld. And ours was free, so. Freely. Ours was freelies. Huge fan, but if you keep insulting your guests, they aren't going to want to co-host beside you anymore. Yeah, they will. Shut up, you nerd. Got him. <laughs> Channel, one time. <sighs> yeah. Daddy needs it. This is actually a reasonable situation for Pernicious Deed. However, I don't foresee us... You can counter this? You can daze me, bro? No, don't do that. Oh, that Get was it. a great draw. That's a land. Oh my god, there's Eureka on top. Do you see the Eureka? I see it. It's... Um... It's right, right, right there. It's right, right there. I need you to stop right now. Okay, I'll stop. Thank you. Thank, thank you. For what? Uh, controlling me. <laughs> that sounds real weird, man. <laughs> thank you for controlling what me. Is, what is this monster? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I see. You're just gonna play okay. Ulamog. You gotta untap one and use your ancient tomb. It's not. Oh, it's eleven. I got you. I get you. Yeah, that's actually fine. Hi, Fraley's. So we know we're drawing a Eureka. And that guy. I guess we just Eureka here, right? We have no other choice. Yeah, I mean, it kind of sucks because we're not going to be dealing with that Ulamog. Aren't we, though? I mean, we can block with Kozilek, I guess. Pretty much forever. Well, I mean, until we have to sacrifice it. Forever. Okay. Um, put, uh, put, put, put Kozlek out, I guess. Put Rask out. Emrakul. Put Deed out. Oh, can we just Vraska this Emrakul? That's friggin' insane. <laughs> See you later. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Hey, it turned into treasure. You're right, it did. You're right, it did. Which is nice because it gives us another thing to. Uh, we can, uh, we can deed for three now, and four. Four. We only need to do it for three though. Yeah. Actually, three is good because it gets rid of this, 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 and this. Gets rid of like our pilgrim and our elf, but it, you know, it makes our annihilator four much better. Than his annihilator too. This one has an oh no never mind. I was like wait. I thought it, I thought it I was like oh my god. Too. There's no way that Emrakul only has an annihilator too. That's a mug. That's what I meant. Correct. One two three four. We get rid of four of their things, but the problem is we also lose a bunch of our things too. Yeah. So we'd lose this, 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 and this. Um. Yeah, they're still ahead of us. I think. So one two three. We have four five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have twelve permanents. Um, we would lose one, two, three, four of them, so we'd have eight permanents. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, and they would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we would lose four. They would lose four. We would lose all of them. We could we could cast a Garrick though. On our turn. And we could draw twelve cards. Well, the problem is we'd go to eight, and then we'd we go to four, so yeah. we wouldn't actually have. Yeah, this is rough. So do we just, like, deed for zero? They have one card in hand and it isn't a permanent. Yeah, that's true. Do you deed for zero? I don't hate that, actually. But then this guy dies, too. Yeah. So it's still a three for two. And our treasure dies as well. Right. I was thinking, well, I was thinking we're going to... Yeah, it's not great. I'm just going let to him, let him have whatever it is. One thing I want to do is actually add the mana 
and sacrifice these things. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna go one, one, two. I mean, even if we deed for two. Well, like, I'm, I'm gonna deed for three. Yeah, we can deed for three, because- Get rid of this and this. Are gone. This and, we know we're drawing a Garrick, so we wanna be able to play it, right? Yes. So get rid of these four. Right. We have two floating, we activate, and then we deed. Yeah. So we get rid of this, this, and these two. And are you attacking? And we just get to block here too, so we don't actually take damage. Yep. That was actually pretty good, because we get to go Garrick, Guy, activate Vraska to make another guy. Draw 12 cards. Oh, all right, sure. Fight! <laughs> I mean, that, that kills this, actually. Which is pretty insane. That actually probably cost us the game. <laughs> They had to top deck that too, because they would have played it off of the <sighs> Yeah. That's unbelievable, dude. Garrick is gone because it shuffled into our library. That's yeah. how that works. That is unbelievable. <sighs> That's so stupid. <laughs> I feel like we played that perfectly, and then we like we just get yeah. they just happen to draw the the one green card that deals two damage to a a, a, a Eldrazi Titan with ten damage on it. So they attacked us with Ulamog. We block with Kozilek. It has two toughness left. He played Garrick Relentless. Garrick Relentless fought Kozilek. It's so stupid. People in Magic lore think Gideon actually fought the Eldrazi Titans. It was actually Garrick. Uh, clearly. After that game one, too, where we got to actually... Yeah. But then he did it right back to us, so... Kind of sucks that we, like... Yeah, we did it first. We were the originals. We were the OG, yeah. It kind of sucks that we played against... Uh, the mirror... The like, deck. the literal mirror match. Yeah. You got their Flicky Boy? Yeah, I got a Flicky Boy. Still a better story than Friendship Super Beam. I kind of want to keep this because there's so many cards that are good. Also, any black source lets us get the chance. Yeah, we're keeping yeah. this hand 100% of the yeah. time. Boo-hoo, we only cast a turn 5 Emrakul. Like, we could have actually attacked them back, taken a hit, played Garrett. Like, that game would have been... S like, they literally had to just top deck. Yeah. Boy. Alright, so we just win next turn? Yeah. We... I don't like attacking, apparently. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think it matters. We're going to actually... We're going to take one... We don't have to take two from this. We can actually take... Uh, we can we get... We can just grab a swamp. Yeah, that's fair. We can also grab Scrubland, which is probably better. God, don't have... I guess Daze doesn't do anything. Remand because... is pretty brutal. But because this can't Van... be countered, so... Yeah. We don't win this turn because Vampiric Tutor puts it on top of the library, not in our hand. Why not win this turn? Why did we wait a turn? What are you saying right now? He, I think he thinks Vampiric Tutor puts it in our hand. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, let's get Skrill Land. I didn't realize you didn't draw it. Yeah, no. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You dead yet? One, two. And we're also at 17, which means if they do have a daze, we can. Oh, we also have Scrub Land, so. We also have Channel. So actually, once we're putting mana in the pool, like they can't. It's also Emrakul, so like they can't really do anything about that. Yeah. Fourteen. We'll go to fifteen. No, we'll say fourteen, and we'll just play off this. Yeah. Would you like to play another game? That's the <laughs> end. This is a hell of a thing. This is why you take channel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is a sweet Planeswalker deck. Sometimes you just want to channel. They don't have an island for... I don't care. I, it doesn't matter. I don't care if they have an island for days or not. I'm just going over the potential that they have. Oh, hey. This hand is rough, but if we get Eureka, it's good. I don't know what to do. I'll, I'll keep it. Will We're up a game. 
I agree with you. I, I I like bad bad logic for keeping hands. This Eureka's looking better and better, man. Two lands and we just go boom, boom, boom with Eureka, right? Yeah. The triple boom? The triple boom. I don't think their deck is going to have bigger threats than ours. That's my that's my thing. Plus, Vraska, if they do have, like, treachery or... Oh, the, it's just getting even better. I'm tempted to abrupt decay this little idiot. That's a quote you say. That's a quote I say all the time. This is not a keepable hand. I'll keep it. I say that. Yeah. I I literally say this hand is not very good. And then I'll I keep, keep it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I do it every time. I'm like, I don't want to go through the... I don't want to go through the whole rigmarole of mulliganing. Come on. Yeah, like, I got to shuffle my deck. I got to draw one less card. That's too much work. You ever drawn one less card than, than the, the amount you have? It's, it's always worse. It's worse. Every time. They didn't attack this turn. Maybe he wants to play mana. They want to keep up this watery grave. No. Leovold. It's always Leovold. No, that's three mana. Leovold is three mana. Oh, Leovold. What did you think I was talking about? I thought you were talking about Rafelos. Oh my god, did they did they realize they need black blue for Leovold? Watch, yeah. the, watch them pass here. It's 100% Leovold and they just literally... Yep. That's gas. Lol. <laughs> so now we grab channel, right? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. He's gonna cast Leovold and then. And I'll just be like channel. Channel Emrakul, cool. your your Dunzo Bunzo. Plus they have to tap all their blue to do that. Dunzo in the Bunzo. No? Leovold now. No. Still different mana. Oh, the four drop. Hmm. Hmm. That's frustrating. Uh, what the hell do they have a blue source off this it's gotta be high right yeah I feel like chances are high that they have a blue source off that yeah just vampiric tutor now grab channel let's see whatever they counter it they counter it I'm not sure if that's exactly correct but feels correct yeah right, let's yeah let's, let's do it they could just not have a blue source Oh, they, have they have to have Steam Vents or a Volcanic Island, I guess. Or... Oh! <laughs> oh, baby boy! Why wouldn't you crack this and keep a blue source up? Um... How is this real, dude? I don't understand. Sometimes you just gotta go for it, guys. <laughs> I mean... What? 14 again. Take our extra turn. Next turn. It, we got all these! <laughs> wow, misplayed and it cost me twice. Oh, wow, misplayed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was the Leovold! <laughs> we knew it! <laughs> I told you, dude. I told you, dude. I'm like, okay, they're trying to play Leovold, but they literally tapped their mana incorrectly. Oh, I can't play Leovold. Too green. My bad. GG, though. Not really. <laughs> what are you going to say, man? What are you gonna... Yeah. Yeah, sorry, man. You did misplay twice. It's okay. Leovold has a lot of colors on him. It's real confusing. I like... Some people think, like, they're like, oh, I have access to blue-green, blue, blue-green and black, so no matter what I tap, I can cast Leovold with it. I have six, I six islands, one forest, and one swamp. I'll tap three of the islands to play Leovold. I have all the mana. I have all the mana. That was a quick match. <laughs> you might say it was the quickest of matches. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. Dude, this card has been <laughs> utterly bonkers. Oh, Jesus. Why are you watching this while you're driving? That ain't good. That's not good at all. I make dance. You watch wherever you want, buddy. Don't you tell people not to watch my stream whenever they want to. Here we go. Ready? Oh, so that's, bad. That's kind of like a green source. He has a lot of green mana symbols on him. Yeah, I don't care about that. Give me a, give me a, give it, give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, Eureka's looking better and better. Actually, Pernicious Deed's pretty good here. Yeah. And this guy's like, oh no. 
All ancestral recall. A fine play. The Sultai deck is looking strong. Wow, really? Can I just do this for one now? That seems really strong. I like it. Or we can actually just Manglehorn this, but I think I'd rather just deed here almost. And then save Manglehorn for something the next, something better. The next big dumb mana thing. Nope! Snapcaster Mage! I want to draw three more cards! Sure. I feel like when we just cast Ulamog, <laughs> it's just going to be fine. Man, if only we were at 21 life when we Oh my god, I, would be, I was thinking that. I'm like, man, can we cast both? <laughs> That's really what I want to do with my... Actually, we don't have to be. We can play channel, pay 18, and use the other two mana to cast both. So we go to one and keep both of these these fat larrys in play <laughs> why are they fat larrys did you say why are they yeah why are they fat larrys this is the first tarmogoyf i've ever seen in the cube what? wow oh. two tarmogoyfs two tarmogoyfs oh they're gonna attack us though so now that's not never gonna work anymore okay we did it <laughs> oh actually hold on hold on i don't know if it's gonna do it what i don't know man it's just this guy right yeah, we, we want that guy because actually oh we're one away like it's 10 and we have to add seven for this guy yeah do we have anything we can draw off cause like that would make it easier to cast this guy? Mm. We played our land. Um, we don't have any free mana. No. So I think the answer is no. What about Lotus? Do we have Lotus in our deck? We, we, no, that was that was last draft. Let's do Ulamog plus Primal Hunt. How can we play Primal Hunter when we have it's triple green? Yeah, we. Yeah. I don't think that I don't think anything works the way you think it does. Oh, <laughs> I just thought you had three free green lying around. Um, it's cool. It's cool, man. Reading's overrated. Don't worry about it. It's got to be this guy. They have three cards. They have twenty three cards. Like yeah, yeah. We we do that. We like exile. They have exile. seven cards in their hand though. That's a lot. Yeah. What are we getting rid of? Two blue, right? It's got to be two blue. Uh, oh, these are uh, we yeah, block they're... here. We take four, five, six. That's totally fine. If we get rid of their blue sources, they can't. They can't like treachery this guy, right? Yeah. And then they go to no cards. That's fine. It's all fine. It's all very fine. We're having a good time. Everybody's winning. We kill one of these idiots. We also don't get to really attack with. Here's downfall. This guy. Oh, they realize that it's illegal. Shroudless agent. Sure. Central Vision, wow, dude. Oh, actually... He's dead. They're dead. <laughs> oh, oh, no, this guy exiles my whole library. He drew nine cards. He drew nine cards, like, in two turns. Hey, do you know the best way to lose when you cast Ancestor Recall twice? Uh, to never actually get to cast the cards you played, because you don't have any cards left in your library after we Ulamog you. Surprisingly, this like blue, black, green control deck seems like it has the most pernicious deed targets. Yeah. With like Tarmogoyf, Tarmogoyf, Snapcaster, Shardless Agent. Yeah. So yeah, I'll just keep this. Um, yeah. 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 I think we need to get the Pilgrim for another Mystic. We want double green. Yeah. But I, I don't think it really matters that much. Yeah, we only have Mirari's Wake as like... It's only a white card, yeah. Yeah, so... Oh my god. I'll I'll draw nine extra car oh I'm dead. Dang it. <laughs> oh gosh dang it. This is why I play five dollars a month for this. Worth worth I imagine you may worth every oh dang this hand's rough. Mulliganos. <laughs> We're on the draw. If it's a if there's a green source, I think it's okay. Yeah. But I don't really want to go to five here. Oh, see you later, bro. Wow. Just can't get can't get enough, huh? Are you ready for this for this green source? Hey, it's such a video. That worked out so well for you. Uh-oh. It wasn't a green source. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're fine. He ain't doing anything for four more turns. He did something this turn. Oh my god. What is this deck, dude? He's just he's just playing a modern deck. I'm actually okay with deeding here because it kills a lot of their things. Yeah. Kills our thing, which kind of sucks, but... We'll see. We'll see what happens. We can actually just play Elder here. Elder's really good. I'll take two. 
Or draw draw a land Oracle of Moldiah would be nice. I think we just Oracle now. Yeah, I think so too. Because if there's another land on top, we're... It's free. Just free spicy. rolling. Ooh, spicy boy. That's a good one. And I'm definitely going to ship this. Or keep it, maybe play it. Actually, yeah, we can draw that because we don't want the land to be on top. We'll draw that and then we'll search for like a forest probably. Oh, what did you flip off of Ancestral Recall? Of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. Oh, gross. What are you playing for five? Taz Scarab God? Oh, Orphling Cloudscape. That's pretty good. Was he, was he return? Oracle, obviously. Okay. Uh, I don't think we want to draw now. So. Yeah, I don't think so either because we're not like we have no way to cast it next turn. So uh, we'll get overgrown to him. I don't want to draw that. So that's cool. Mm, that's cool. I'll still play you, and then we can see if we can hit more lands. We did. Oh, I should have kept the black up, but I guess it doesn't matter. I don't really care that much. We can just play Elder. We're halfway there. So they have Ancestral Recall and they're drawing for Ancestral Vision here. That's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so even if we hit land, land, we can't cast Kozilek. We're close, though. There's a recall. All right, so now you have nine cards in your hand, like you do. Who is this hippie, Mike? That's me. That is him. Wow. Look at these, look at these creature lands you got here. Our opponent's just playing, like, a modern deck that also has Ancestral Recall in it. Oh, they and just took a damage. He's, what, Are they dismembering our Oracle of Moldiah? He's thinking no, about it. No, they changed their mind. No, he... You have a my El what? I get to draw cards, though. Yeah, that's... That draws us cards, man. Dang it, I don't want to draw that. Sure, we'll take five. I mean, I think we're 100% we're deeding. deeding for two. Yeah, that's really good. Um, One, two, three, one, two. That leaves with a four mana. Oh, that's we so could just... Can we... Should we just deed for whatever Earthling Cloudscape is to like get all the damage off the Five board? off the board? Yeah. They actually... They can attack us for three after that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My problem with that is that... We can't do anything really great next turn. Uh, so, we, did we play our second land this turn? We haven't played any lands this turn okay. yet. So, we can go this one and this one. So, it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next turn, we can cast Kozilek. Yeah, but we're probably, like, dead. So, if we kill... Yeah, but if we kill the board... The difference is this doesn't do anything. Like, we're going to we're gonna spend our turn deeding. Yeah. They're going to activate this and attack us for three. We go to six. Yeah. Then we're gonna play Vraska, then we go to three. And unless we find an answer for this, we're pretty much dead. Yeah. Whereas like if they just deal us three and two, we're still pretty much dead. Okay. So I think we just deed for two. One, two, three, one, two, and then we can actually do I still can't do anything after that. That's super frustrating. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. We use deed instant speed because Oh yeah, you're right. If that's... he activates tar pits, then like we get to kill it. So. Yeah, that's smart. I'm a fan of that stratagem. Three, four, five. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we got to keep up. Uh... Yeah, actually, if they don't attack with Tarpit, I'm very, I'm much more inclined to Deed activate says, Deed for five. Deed says artifact, e creature, and enchantment. Yeah. So it would kill a Tarpit. Yes, it yep. doesn't say. It it, doesn't Deed say does not say non-land. That's was... why. That's why you draft it with Planeswalkers. Yeah. Frank, I lose to you early with my blue red pile of expensive cards. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. What's the sound you're making? You're, you're very good at at the sound that you're making. I went to school for it. Why are you guys saying non-land? I don't understand. Yeah, it's... 
Yeah. Cyrus Mission to destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment with converted mana cost X or less. It doesn't say non-land anywhere on there. It's not Oblivion Stone. All right. We're going to combat. If they go to combat, yeah, we're just killing everything. Yeah. Or we just take... I want to keep this alive because... If we take two here and go to seven, it gives us the chance to hit another land and just play Kozilek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It just seems better. Because then we can untap and we can actually block. No, we can't. No, we can't. We can actually draw Vraska and kill this next turn anyway. So I don't think we have to really yeah. give this up. Okay, that's... One, two, three. I will stifle that. Disallow? I feel like disallow should be in this cube. Oh, pernicious dude would say non-land. Pernicious deed doesn't specify non-land. That's... Wait, he, what is that time walk doing in the graveyard? Where, how did that happen? Oh, boy. They cast that along with their Ancestor Recall. Yep, we'll take five here. And we're kind of dead, right? Yep. That doesn't do it. Yeah, I think we we have to deal with this tarpet somehow. And floaters. And floaty McFloatersons. We just need to channel on turn two again. I think Go for the Throat's actually pretty good. Let's bring that in. Um, Chupacabra? Like, we could just bring in all of our creature dudes. The future of Nick is up to you. What is this poll? <laughs> I need to know my future. <laughs> what is it? Uh, hat Nick, Hat Mike, Hippie Mike, Hay Sack Mike, Hacky Sack Mike, Philosophy Degree Mike, or Homeless Mike. I'm gonna go with Hat Nick. That seems like a solid answer. <laughs> I like I like how it's Hat Nick. Like I'm. St oh, I meant Hat Mike. Dang it. <laughs> Whatever. You can be ha you can be Hat whoever you want, man. I want to take out the core support. I think it's a little too slow. I'd rather have like a Chupacabra here, or I'd rather actually have Raska's Contempt. I think. Because I'd like to be able to kill a uh, creeping tar pit with it. Yeah. I think our deck is very good. And I don't feel bad about... This might be too slow, too. I'm just going to count all the hat nicks as hat mics. Because everyone's saying, like, yeah, I made the same mistake. I don't actually hate this, Yeah, I was going to say, enough. I kind of want to keep it. Because, like, what's our opponent doing that's more powerful than the Civil Mog. Their deck isn't super fast. Yeah. And also, like, from what we've seen, Their the cards like they put into deck. play are not great. Also, if we draw Channel, it's just great. And if we draw any other Eldrazi, it's just really good, so. Hatnik is distinctly different than Hat Mike. Alright. God, Channel here would have been amazing. Instead, we drew Forest. Channel's still, channel's still amazing. Actually, that's a good dude to put in play. So, next turn. Let's draw, like, an Emrakul next turn, and then we'll just put them all into play. Put all the friends into play. What is he tapping for? What is he? Oh, he's, he's, oh, this is fine. He's attacking us. I don't think we slam any lands off of Eureka until we see, like, our opponent's not doing anything with it. I'm real tempted to Vamp Tutor, because not only does it give us a better Eureka, but it also could just get Channel. Yeah, like... I would rather just Vampire Tutor for, um... I think our permanents are better. My problem is if they have, like, Phantasmal Image and they copy our Ulamog. Yeah, yeah. like... And they did show us Phantasmal Correct. Image. Like, I would... I would actually... I think the safer play is to Vampire Tutor, grab Channel, cast Ulamog, get rid of Creeping Tar Pit, and, like, Bird. My only concern is if they deal us another three, oh, we go or... down to 14, and this puts us down to 12... Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. Okay, so they didn't attack us, which is nice. Ancestral Recall. Mm, sure. Okay, this is just... This is all just fine. What we can also do... We can vamp for Pernicious Deed, put Pernicious Deed into play with Ulmog, or with uh, with Eureka, and then we'd still have one left over. So we can just kill his Kill idiot. this guy and this guy. I don't know if that's better, though. 
It might just be better to put an old an Emrakul into play. I'll be honest with you. I think so too. But the thing is, if they still have the stupid phantasmal image, they get the benefit off of it first. <clears throat> Well, if we have a way to target it, though, like, what if we get a card that targets it? Let's just see what we can get. I don't know exactly what our options are here, so let's find out. Um, Grave Titan is a thing. Emrakul is a thing. We can just get a Vraska Relic Seeker and kill it. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. And do we just, like, do we put Planesmans in first, or no? Or we put Garrick in first. Uh, we put the Garrick in first, yeah. Actually, I put the land in first. <laughs> the Vulture. Yeah, whatever. Don't care about that guy. Okay. Well, I'm done. All right. So that was your that was your amazing turn, huh? Um, I guess we'll kill this guy. He'll draw a card, and we'll be. We'll be alright with that, I guess. We can also draw 10 cards here. Yeah, do you want to just draw 10 cards? Good lord, that's a lot of cards. I mean, we're going to have to discard some amount of them. <laughs> Unless we get... No, we're going to have to discard some. Yeah, we're going to have to discard uh, We could channel and potentially... We could hit channel here. And get Emrakul? Yes, and then we can actually Vraska for the extra one point. No! Oh God, we don't. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Chad is like losing their minds. They were screaming at us for like 20 minutes. And we're just like... <laughs> I'll kill it now. <laughs> Listen. Listen, you. <laughs> Nailed it. So, yeah, we uh, we put a Vraska, a Forest, and a uh, Umog in a play, right? I didn't even have a Garrick in hand. So. What are you talking about? Yeah, that, like, that was, yeah. It would have been really cool to draw 10 cards. Yeah. If only we put a Garrick into play off of that uh, Eureka. Yeah. That's fine. I don't think life is really going to be the deciding factor of this game. Actually, they can't they can't really attack profitably here, so we get to keep our Vraska, which is pretty good. Which means we get rid of this. I mean, ten cards is not that many cards, realistically. Nah. Emrakul. It's just a land, okay. <laughs> so what, we take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I feel like we can't... There's... There's a cre there is a creature in the in the in the graveyard. Yeah. One, two, three, activate. One, two, three, activate. So we're taking three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, plus five. So it's seventeen. We probably have to kill one of these things. Hmm. If we kill if we kill this, we die. So that's not a great idea. I, I'd prefer not to continue punting. It's also going to, like, if if they flip it, it's going to return all their stuff to their hand. They have one card in hand, so they have to have spells, and they have to draw another spell. Yeah. Yes, so... Well, making a dork for blocking is the same as just killing this guy. This is the most damage they can deal. Whereas if they have an answer for the guy to block, like, we're just dead. Yeah. I'd rather just kill this and take five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, go to 2. And, and just then, assume that they can't. Yeah, and then we'll... Like, we're going to attack them twice. They're going to lose all their cards. So... 
I mean, if they in, uh, the, the chance they are able to bounce everything, like, I mean, what are you gonna do? Riffling Cloudscape Time Walk is gone. Snapcaster is gone. Ancestral Vision is gone. Ancestral Recall is gone. They did have days. Wow, can you imagine if we had ten extra cards in our hand right now? What? No, I can't imagine that at all. Okay, so let's say they 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 can't they do have a, a removal spell for our creature. Um, let's say it costs. It like has to be two an mana. exile spell. What do you mean? Oh, for, oh, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Mana. I'm sorry. So they can activate the three. They they attack for three, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. Yeah, they still kill us. I say just get rid of the Tarmogoyf. Just get it out of here. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, like. I think that I think like I mean we we're we're banking on the chance that like they just don't kill us with this and then we make them mill their last two cards. Okay, well there's a land. They have to win this turn yeah. or get rid of Ulmog. And they have one spell and they have one card in hand, so they can't flick thing, flip, flip, flip thing in the ice. They can't. They can draw one card off of Edric. So I mean, unless they have a treachery in their hand or the last two cards or like a control magic. Oh god, it's gonna be treachery. Okay, that's not it. So three, four, five, six. It's an eleven. They're four points short. I can't. If we still win this game, like I would be very, very surprised. You can definitely draw one. I mean, they kept up double blue. Yeah, because he wants to bounce something. Did he have? Blink. I didn't see Blink. We saw yeah. Riftwing Cloudscape. What? Which is gone. That doesn't do it. Yeah. Oh my god. Whoa! The 10 card Leovold Garrick punt, and we still end up winning that match for two. Wow. That I, don't is... I don't know what you're talking about. We we had that Garrick in our graveyard the entire No, time. man. I gotta, you gotta own that. That was a, that was a <laughs> masterful punt. Especially because... We're in the past week or so, I've harped on so many yeah. opponents for messing up when I'm playing against Leovold. And then I'm like, all right, I'm just going to casually draw, draw 10. 10 cards. Oh, magic must be glitching. My hand did not fill up. All right, it's in the graveyard. Oh, my God. It was the moment of the moment of revelation. It was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been excellent. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you guys are interested in submitting a stipulation before the Vintage Cube leaves... Uh, please, please do so. You can find the information on how to do that in in, in my the description below. You can check my pa my Patreon page or my Twitch profile. Uh, yeah, smash smash those like and subscribe buttons. Me and Nickel, uh, me and Hat Nickel, Hat Mike, whoever you want to call them. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.